I'm somebody that has the thickest skin on this platform. Go look at my Twitter posts and my Twitter drama battles. I've survived in one six of them. I have the toughest skin in this community. Go fuck yourself, you weird fucking mutant freak piece of shit troglodyte self-important Twitter Andy. Fucking weirdo piece of shit troglodyte mutant fuck. What a monkey fuck. You're the noob. You don't come in here and call me a noob. You are dog shit at DVD. I am better than you ever will be on your best day, and I look better while doing it, and make more money. Go fuck yourself, eat my ass. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. That's right, I'm back in uniform, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the biggest man-child in Dead by Daylight. I'm gonna warn you guys, this video will be spicy, and it will be long. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. The streamer we're talking about today is a partnered Twitch streamer, and they've been a part of the Dead by Daylight community for a long time. Longer than myself, actually. And some of you might recognize this person, but even still, I'm not going to be mentioning their name in this video. Because even though this person is super toxic towards others and has slandered me on multiple occasions, I still don't want people going and harassing them. So instead of calling them by name, I'll be referring to this streamer as Shortbread. If you're familiar with this person and their behavior, you'll understand. One last quick disclaimer, Shortbread does love to flex the terms DMCA and copyright uh, to scare off anybody who dares call them out. Now, just to be extra safe, I'll be in this video the entire time reacting to and analyzing the clips that I'm showing you. I've also pitch shifted their voice and added a slight cartoonish effect to the clips. Now this is just to make it extra transformative and because I think it's funny. Now, I don't have to do these things because the video on its own would already be fair use according to copyright law. Now that we've got that all out of the way, we're gonna be splitting this video into three segments. Manipulation, defamation, and lastly, Man baby tantrums. Let's start from the beginning. About eight months ago, somebody reached out to me about shortbread, saying that they were very toxic and that I should make a video about them. Now, I, I looked at the email and I looked at the clips and while watching the clips, I actually thought that shortbread was very uh, funny and entertaining. Didn't think they were toxic at all, at least in the clip that was sent to me. I, I just thought he was entertaining and I still have that clip today. So let's take a look at it. All right, let's watch. Bro, you're boring. That's the problem. You know you're boring. Nothing too crazy. Here, go ahead. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. You're good. He's certainly annoyed a little bit. What? You're fucking unfun as shit, dog. What do you want me to do? Little heated. He sat there like, wow, why'd you give up? Dude's out here. I'm playing for the Olympics. I got to pressure every gym. <laughs> Hold on. This fucking killer. Give him his music. Give him his goddamn music. <laughs> See, I think this is funny. This is... I, I like over-the-top stuff like this. It's just you goofy. Bear step in the cold wind with me? I can't have that in my lobby. I may <laughs> only be at four gens left, but you're gonna die. I hope you had fun, though. So, yeah, I, I didn't think there was anything super toxic about that, and he definitely complained um, about uh, of the match a little bit and how they were being boring, but... It's not like he went out of the way to, like, shit on them or be super toxic to them. I liked his energy. He seemed like a funny guy. So I think it was the next day or something. I actually saw he was live on Twitch. So I just was like, I want to pop in and, and say hi to this guy. And I, I wanted to tell him I thought he was funny. I also thought he would think it was amusing how I found his channel, which is that somebody, you know, wanted me to expose him. So I literally said, someone sent me a clip of yours wanting me to expose you. And I put expose in parentheses because it's silly. Uh, but you were legit just hilarious and not toxic at all. That's all I said. Now, he took this and ran with it. He started going off about how I was threatening him and, and character assassinating him and all this stuff. He says that he took it in a way of, oh, I was going to make a video about you, but I, now I don't think I'm going to. And that's just not the case. I was just trying to tell him I thought he was funny and how I found his channel. The way he took it is not how I meant it at all. And I even tried multiple times in his chat to explain, hey man, it was not a threat at all. I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making a video. That's not at all how it was supposed to come across. He decides to ignore all of my messages trying to clarify what I meant and say, no man, I'm just complimenting you. He ignores it all and screenshots my first message and tweets about it saying that, again, that I was threatening him. Now things can get a bit hairy on Twitter, so naturally I wanted to defend myself, so I quote tweeted it and explained my side. I also shared in the thread the screenshots of the messages he left out where I was trying to apologize for how it came off. 
and and state my actual reasoning for being there in just complimenting him. Now, me quote tweeting this did not make them look good and it hurt his ego really bad uh, because people were saying, hey, the man, this is kind of an embarrassing post. You should take it down. It's very clearly not what he meant by that message. There were also some troll accounts with default profile pictures and like four followers that said some unsavory things because it's Twitter. So then he tries to flip the narrative again, saying that I'm witch hunting him because I defended myself. I never told anybody to attack him. I never even insulted the guy. I still have only complimented him. I still have only said nice things uh, at, this, at this point about this guy. And, and he flipped the table and said that I was witch hunting him. Anyways, that was that. And I could have easily made a video about the whole situation at the time, but I didn't. Why? Because I said I wasn't going to make a video about the guy, and I was going to stick by my word. Now, within this eight months time span since this happened, I've had a lot of people reach out to me with clips uh, of shortbread being super toxic towards people, and uh, I still was like, okay, well, I, I said I wasn't going to make the video about him. It's probably not worth getting into drama with him again. I still hadn't really planned on making a video. Until now. Because it turns out, even after all this time, Shortbread just can't keep my name out of his mouth. And not only mine, but talking about my kids as well. Maybe he wanted me to make a video about him this whole time. I, I don't know. But if that's the case, Shortbread, congratulations. You got it. This clip we're going to look at now is from, I believe, two days ago. So uh, it's been eight months since this whole thing happened. And we've seen how Shortbread likes to manipulate things. Taking something super small and minuscule, even a compliment and turning it into something super negative, trying to create drama, and trying to create a situation where Shortbread is a victim. If you think the manipulation was bad then, just wait till you hear how Shortbread remembers this whole situation. Again, this is from two days ago. I'm only name dropping this guy because he publicly witch hunted, he witch hunted me and I got called uh, oh, wow. every word in the book. Witch hunt. That was the spooks and juke attack. He the Spook and Jukes attack. It's a holiday now. The notorious day of the Spook and Jukes attack. I told him he was funny and entertaining. That's quite the attack. He literally called me a what did I call it? it is. What did I call you? He called me a toxic person. When? When? When did I ever call you a toxic person? When did I ever insult you in any way? It has never happened. Please, show me. I said in the tweet that you posted to start all this, I said that you're not toxic because I didn't believe that you were. And then an hour later, I got called the N-word. I got called fat. I got called bot. I got bot really? shamed. I got called autistic. My, okay. wife got, my wife got threats. Really? It on me and all I did was point out his bullshit. Wow, you got called all of those things? All, see, I recently went back and looked at all the replies and, and I didn't see all that i saw some again unsavory a couple like one or two unsavory replies from default twitter pictures with four followers you know just random trolls because again it's twitter but i, I certainly didn't see all that i didn't see any of the threats i don't i don't know what what that's about the, the tweet got 500 likes you think that all this is going to happen from a, a quote tweet of yours that got 500 likes and you're saying you're acting like it's the apocalypse he's legitimately just making all this shit up but hold on it gets better and they called you witch hunting him. Yeah, by literally posting a screenshot of him threatening me in chat. <laughs> that was so funny. That all started threatening. because I took a screenshot of his words. Not even out of context. Not even out of context. Yes, you just ignored all the messages after where I continuously say, Look, man, it was not meant that way. I don't even think it looks like it could be taken that way. But again, he's trying to create a narrative. But I posted so many times in his chat saying, Hey, dude. I'm not threatening you. I think you're funny. I'm not making a video. There was never going to be a video. And he's saying, yeah, I just posted his words. It's not out of context at all. All I did was show a picture of his words. Oh. And it showed how he was trying to character assassinate me. I don't know how you can character assassinate somebody by complimenting them in their chat. Like, I didn't even take this to Twitter. I just went in his chat, in his bubble, in his community, and told him I thought he was funny and entertaining. But that's a character assassination? Oh, apparently, half a year later after he attacked me, he got caught saying the N-word on stream. Twice. Really? So this is, now we're in the full-on defamation mode. He says I got caught saying the N-word on stream twice. This guy is so uninformed or just legit talking out of his ass because he wants to create a false narrative so people hate me. I, I don't know, probably maybe both. For those who don't know, I'll give you a brief refresher of what Shortbread is actually referencing here. Four months ago, people dug up a video of mine from my YouTube channel 
that was three years old and it wasn't public on my channel anymore. And in that video, somebody was threatening to shoot me, telling me to come to their address. And I thought it was funny. And they kept using this phrase over and over and it had the N word with an A at the end of it. And there was one message in there where I quoted that person's phrase to try to mock them. Now, this has been brought up three times and I've apologized for it three times and the video is not on my channel. It was stupid of me to say, even if I was just mocking them, trying to intimidate me. But regardless, I've talked about this. It's old news. I'm gonna leave a video link here if you guys even wanna go look at that whole situation. But again, he's twisting it and saying that I said the N word on stream and that I said it twice. All right, let's hear what else you got, shortbread. But hey, he has kids, right? I do. He attacked me for having kids. I'm sorry. Okay. I attacked you for having kids? Now I've attacked you for having kids? My dude, I have never even insulted you. I have only complimented you. And now I have a attacked your kids? So, he has kids. So surely they'll be raised properly. Nice dig. With their dad attacking everybody under the sun and then being a racist himself. Calls me a racist. He's going to preach to his audience that I say the N-word all the time and that I'm a racist person and that uh, I'm an unfit father as well. Because, hey, they attacked my kids. So when? When? Hey, shortbread, when? When did I attack your kids? When did anybody from my community attack your kids? Please show proof. Please prove it. See, I don't want anything bad to happen to his kids. They were threatening mine. Who was threatening your kids? No, I want his kids to have a better life, so I hope they learn in school. I want his kids to have a better life, so I hope they learn in school. Nice. Just multiple digs saying that I'm a racist and that I'm an unfit parent. Very classy, man. This man is sitting on his stream talking about my kids, talking about how I'm an unfit parent and I'm a racist. All because I complimented him eight months ago. I have had no communication with this guy since at all. Now this is where the video is going to get real spicy because I've got three real specific examples of shortbread just shitting on people and insulting and degrading people and being super toxic all over Dead by Daylight and all over super tiny small things. This grown man. Because unlike shortbread, I actually can back up my claims and show proof and evidence without making up lies to defame people. Now, before we get into these three examples of him throwing man baby tantrums at people, I just want to share this little clip where he says that he has the thickest skin in the Dead by Daylight community. Let's. I'm somebody that has the thickest skin on this platform. Go look at my Twitter posts and my okay. Twitter drama battles. I've survived and won six of them. Oh, he's really good at winning Twitter battles. Yeah, very thick skin. I have the toughest skin in this community. Ah, oh, yeah, you sure do. I don't think I've ever been this excited to share clips before. All right, so we have example number one, where he's going to throw a fit at somebody because they did not save him in basement. Let's take a look. Wait, why am I not being saved? Oh. Why am I not being, no one's even doing gins. Darn, man. Wait, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Okay, I, I, I put this picture here because down here you can see this person by the name of Raxia is on death hook. Raxia, remember that name. Raxia is on death hook. These two teammates are not on death hook, okay? They have not been hooked. But Raxia uh, is on death hook. Remember that. Wow, fuck you guys. Uh, 5,000 points and hmm. didn't save. Okay, so he complains about this person having a, a small amount of points and not saving him. Okay. I'm a killer main solo queuing. Sorry, I couldn't save you off the hook, GG's. So Raxia, why did you only have 5k points? You remember, you remember the name Raxia? Okay. So number one, why couldn't you save me off the hook? She wasn't anywhere near basement. Number two, uh -huh. there were two teammates with no hook states. Oh. Number three. Was Raxia one? What were you doing with only 5k points? Oh, and then we, then we, what is this? Okay. So Raxia is actually up here. Well, his webcam's there, but you can't see. But this is Raxia, who has the most points. Now, all Raxia does is say, what? I had the most points. Because Shortbread is trying to say, why did you only have 5,000 points? So they just simply correct him and say, what? I had the most points. Watch this. This is going to blow your mind. Good God. What? I had the most points? Go fuck yourself, you weird fucking mutant freak piece of shit, troglodyte, self-important Twitter Andy. Ooh. Holy fucking shit, Raxia. Wow. Get the fuck out of here, man. Go unban requests when you learn how to play a game further than a five-year-old fucking mindset. Nice. I'm a killer main playing solo queue. Sorry oh. I couldn't save you. Go fuck yourself. Get out of my channel. I don't... Okay. 
So, clearly, that escalated pretty quickly. This person came into his chat to apologize because they couldn't save. Because they were on death hook, and it is a nurse, and they if they went for the save, it's very likely they would die. So they probably expected the two who hadn't been hooked to get the save, but they didn't. So this person just tried to be kind and go say, I'm sorry that I didn't get the save or couldn't get the save because they were on death hook. And then he says that they had 5,000 points. This person just simply says, I had the most points. And now he says all this. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> go fuck yourself, you mm. weird mutant freak. Wow. No one likes you. Ooh. Holy shit. Everyone's a fucking mentally stunted five-year-old in this goddamn community. Oh. Mentally wow. stunted five-year-olds, man. Do you remember when he claimed that my community was calling him autistic? And he was sitting there complaining and complaining about being uh, called names and stuff like that. Remember that? You remember when he was making up all that stuff um, about how my community, I witch hunted him and he was getting insulted? But here he is just berating somebody and calling not only this person, but the entire community mentally stunted five-year-olds. Nice. And fucking weirdo piece of shit, troglodyte mutant fuck. What a monkey fuck, dude. We're literally okay. playing a murder game and they act like toddlers that still wear diapies. Who's acting like a toddler in diapies right now, shortbread? Who's acting like a toddler? I just want to know. I want you to look me in the eye, shortbread, and I want you to tell me who's wearing a fucking diapy, please. So now we have the second clip of him blowing up on somebody, and I just have to quick point out that in his uh, channel about me, he says, have fun, get cozy, and don't forget to call me boosted. Now, I don't know if you guys know what boosted means, but I googled it, and it says, and I quote, uh, calling someone boosted is a common game term used to denote someone who is playing at a much higher ranking than their skill would suggest otherwise. Okay, so it's basically saying you can call me bad because you're at a rank that you shouldn't be at because you don't have skill. That's what boosted means. But I think everybody knows what boosted means. I just wanted to read you the definition because in his about me, it says, don't forget to call me boosted. Okay, so he wants you to call him boosted. I just, I have to point that out. You're going to see why. So what you're about to watch is somebody goes into Shortbread's chat to say, uh, GG's noob, I was the bad fang. Now this, they were a teammate and they're calling themselves bad and calling him a noob. They're just, it's just like a, like a joke. Hey, GG's noob, I was the bad fang. Just joking around. Remember, he wants you to call him boosted. So let's see how he reacts to being called a noob as a joke. GG's noob, I was the bad fang. Who the fuck are you talking to, troglodyte subhuman? Oh! I lived! Who the fuck are you talking shit to? Oh wow! By the way, thickest skin in the community. Hey, my mug describes you. you nice. You come in here and call me daddy, you don't call me noob. A little weird. Respect, punk ass. Question mark? I'm so confused. So you're dumb on top of being a fucking troglodyte? Oh! So you're insulting someone's intelligence, calling them dumb? You don't like people doing that, right, though? You, you say it's bad, you, you complain about it happening to you, even though it didn't really happen to you, but, you know, you're complaining about it happening to you. That's crazy. All right, I'll, I'll show you your words. GG's noob. Mm -hmm. So I'm letting you know you're the noob. You oh. don't come in here and call me a noob. <laughs> you don't come in here and call me a noob. The audacity. Hey, you might want to change your, your about me on your Twitch, because... Look, if you can't take being called a noob, I just, I know you have thick skin, but I would maybe change that. I was trolling LOL. I was literally just saying GG. You came in here calling me a noob. I responded with the same banter. Oh, why are you offended? All the person is saying is they're confused. All they were doing was saying GG. And then he's saying that he returned that same banter and they're offended. But all that they're saying in his chat is that they're confused and they don't know what's happening. And he's saying that they're offended. The lack of self-awareness. Do, do you, does Shortbread not know how offended he is that he got called a noob? What the fuck? Don't come in here talking shit and act like a little scared chihuahua when you get it back, you huh. fucking freak. How did they act like a scared chihuahua, though, when all they said was that they were confused? Because... They just said Gigi's noob, and then you called them uh, a, a mutant, troglodyte, uh, freak, dumb, whatever it was that you said. You know, because theirs was playful, yours was you were clearly offended by them calling you a noob, so 
I would imagine their confusion, but what I'm not getting is you're saying that they're cowering like a chihuahua and that they're super offended, but the only one who looks offended in this scenario is you, Shortbread. It's you. Now for this third and final clip of him throwing a man-child tantrum, we just have somebody who was in his chat, and I believe part of his community at the time, um, who was just saying that they think Nurse is fun to go against. That's their opinion. I know some people don't like going against nurses, some people do. This person is just explaining that they think it's fun, they respect the skill, and um, Shortbread cannot uh, handle that opinion, and you'll see how it escalates. Nurse is my favorite killer to go against? No, it's not, Solitary. No one believes that, sorry. There's literally no way to say I enjoy playing against a good nurse because there's no interaction. There's no gameplay. There's no gameplay. Okay, so he says there's no gameplay. Now, what I think is interesting, he says you cannot enjoy going against a good nurse because there's no gameplay. Now, in the same match, he says this. I like Bubba, especially Insidious ones, because it represents something, you know? Yeah, so he likes Insidious Bubba, and he actually plays Insidious Bubba as well, um, which... I love Insidious Bubba, nothing wrong with that, but wouldn't you argue that if you down somebody and then you, you camp them or it, it, with Insidious that there's no gameplay there for the killer or the survivor? Now look, I like Insidious Bubba, I'm not talking shit, I, I play Basement Bubba, but your argument to why nobody likes Nurse is because apparently there's no gameplay whatsoever, but you love Insidious Bubba and you play Insidious Bubba, where the first person who gets downed gets no gameplay, and also the killer doesn't get much gameplay because they're just standing there. I just don't uh, quite see how that makes any fucking sense. I'm not saying I'll escape every good nurse I go against, but I definitely have fun regardless of the outcome. And Reasonable. I'm just simply saying I disagree and don't believe you. Okay. You can say it all you want, Solitary. It doesn't make it true, and I don't believe you. Okay. I'm calling you a liar. So, I can understand if you don't agree. But why do you have to call them a liar? Like it's, isn't this just an opinion? No, he he doesn't think that. He thinks that his opinion is a fact, and that's just... It it escalates so much more. Just wait. Literally no one in this chat believes you, by the way. Nice. A great nurse. So you misspelled great, so you're getting flustered. So this person is just trying to be... Just trying to have a conversation. And this man-child cannot even have this conversation because he has to correct their spelling and, and be passive-aggressive, which I thought that people did that in seventh grade. I don't remember the last time I corrected somebody's spelling or or grammar when having an actual debate seems like such a seventh grade or below jab a great nurse is awesome to go against because you can respect the skill no that's actually wrong you can respect a car hitting someone because it looks cool doesn't mean it's fun right okay so a good nurse is the equivalent of a car hitting someone and also a car hitting someone is cool to watch that comparison sure is a comparison it's one of those unarguable things. You don't have fun going against a good nurse because they don't even let you play the game. And but Insidious Bubba lets you play the game? And that's not arguable. That's literally the reality, I'm sorry. I get to have the final say, and the mm. streamer says you're wrong. Now what? Do something about it. You can't. Oh, that, the, 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 God, it's so cringy, dude. It's so cringe. Like, this is how you have a debate. You just say, my opinion is a fact and you are wrong and even if you make good points i am the streamer do something about it oh my god it is literally a man child and i know that shortbread you're gonna be like oh my god you're insulting me yes i'm calling you a man child you called me a racist how about we call it even wasn't it's a joke one person here. in your, your chat doesn't guess. agree with it Nobody. ah so you're making a reference that other people disagree with me in other channels, therefore advertising. Okay. This person, all they said was that they were the one person in their chat that doesn't agree, but other people outside of his community might disagree with shortbread. Like they might actually like going against nurses. They're just saying that there's more people outside of this bubble. And because they made that claim, uh, shortbread says that they are advertising they're apparently advertising other channels by simply saying there's more opinions outside of your bubble okay so that's advertising let's let's hear this cool that's what i wanted to get out of you permaban hey solitary mm. 
eat my ass. Nice. You are a pathetic motherfucker, and no one likes you. Go back oh. to the chats where all your little dick-riding sheeple givers love your opinion. Huh. You will not be welcome here. You are dog shit at DVD. I am better than you ever will be on your best day, and I look better while doing it. Wow. And make more money. Go fuck yourself. You are never welcome back here. Eat my ass. A lot to unpack there. So, all of that, because this person says... I enjoy going against Nurse. I respect the skill of it, personally. That's their opinion. And when they said, when Shortbread said, no, you're wrong, nobody agrees with you, nobody in this chat agrees with you, this person says, well, people in other communities or uh, people outside of your community might agree, you know? You know, there's, there's more to life, there's more to the world than your chat. And then he says they're advertising and all that. My golly. Now, back to the people that matter, not subhuman mutants. Wow. Yo, uh, sorry, solitary. Ew. Ew. You are gross. All right, so let's recap. Shortbread claims to have the toughest skin in the Dead by Daylight community. And they have completely lashed out and blown up at people for apologizing for not being able to save them in the basement, calling him a noob when he says in his about me to call him boosted, and also for uh, having a different opinion, for liking a killer that he doesn't like, and for suggesting that maybe people outside of his community might share different opinions than him. Now look, this video is already super long, which is why there's only three examples. I could have made this video an hour long because there are even more examples. I have seen him lash out at a community member of his because they made a joke about soup, I heard him uh, lashing out at a pinhead, calling him an exploiter because he was using the perk Enduring. Shortbread constantly insults people in his stream, constantly berates them, insults their intelligence, makes them look small, makes them feel small. He also lies about other content creators, as you've seen. But then he also likes to back into a corner and play the victim card whenever anybody calls him out or tries to correct him or stand up for themselves. He is then the victim. He's then the one who was insulted and name called and all these things. He is just constantly the victim and is never the aggressor. I want to reiterate that I do not want anybody going and harassing this person or saying anything toxic to them on their Twitch or Twitter anywhere. Uh, don't stoop to his level. Uh, it's not worth it. And if me or my mods see you doing this, uh, then you'll be banned from my Twitch, from my Discord. You'll be purged from my community. So, yeah, don't do that. Be the bigger person. Be the bigger person that Shortbread wishes they were and pretends to be. That is going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I know it was a long one, but uh, it was quite a ride, wasn't it? All right. I will see you on the next one. Remember to be kind to your fellow gamers. Goodbye.